Hi there, it's Christy Lewis from Christy Lewis Reviews Books Worth Your Time, and today I'm here with my December TBR. The first book that I'm planning to read this month is Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, and this is going to be for the booktube Common Read, which is put on by a book olive, and it has to do with Sarah Dessen's reaction to a student reader's criticism, and I don't know anything about the whole drama. Honestly, I'm not that interested in it, but I am interested in reading this because I was planning on buddy reading it with Krista at Books and Jams. So I am also reading this partially for a video of my own that I am making. This was published in 2014. The author is a young lawyer when he founded the Equal Justice Initiative. It just sounds like one of those social justice reads that's really popular right now. So I would like to check it out. It's about corruption in the justice system. And my husband works in law enforcement, so I'm always interested in that topic. It should be an interesting one. I really do want to read it. It's kind of like when I read Hate You Give. It's kind of like, it's one of those ones that I just have to read whether I really want to or whether I think I'm going to like it or not. I think it's a voice that I should listen to and just see what he says. The next book that I will be reading is for Kate Howe's Victorian Book Club, which I am so excited about. I have wanted to join a classics book club for a really long time. I actually tried to start one online and I think I just need more people to kind of get it going. I am hoping that that will be able to happen at some point, but I am just thrilled that she has put up a poll for us to vote on which book we want to read and the one that was chosen was the one that I voted for, which is Silas Marner by George Eliot. I am so excited to read this one. I actually have it, which is why I voted for it. This is a copy that my old English teacher gave to me from high school, and I just really appreciated that, and I would like to actually read it. I've never read anything by George Eliot. It's supposed to be kind of Christmassy and whimsical. I honestly don't know anything else about it. And the next book that I will be reading this month is Many Waters by Madeline Langle, and this is going to also be a buddy read with another friend on booktube here. And her name is Victoria. She's a new friend that I just met, and her channel is a musical bookworm. So this is the fourth book, I think, in the Time Quintet by Madeline Langle, and I did love this book when I was a kid. I loved all the books in the Time Quintet, I think my favorites were books two and three, and then this book four was my third favorite. This was published in 1986. Adeline Lingle is the author of A Wrinkle in Time, in case you didn't know. She's pretty famous, so you probably knew. It's about the brothers of the main characters of the first three books, and the brothers' names are Sandy and Dennis, and they go back in time to the great flood um, of Noah's day when Noah is still building the ark and they meet the Nephilim and Noah's sons and a whole bunch of fun characters and I really enjoyed this book. I'm super excited. It's like a retelling of Noah's Ark. I might listen to it on audiobook because I do have some other heavier reading that I'm planning on doing this month, but I'm so excited to read this with Victoria. So thank you for doing this buddy read with me, Victoria. This was first published in 1861. And the next book that I'm planning on reading this month is Democracy in America by Alexis de Tocqueville. This is one that I started last month and I got through book one, part one, and that was 186 pages or 68 pages or something like that. And that was a lot. This is like reading a textbook. I really loved it though. I'm super, super excited about continuing on with this one. I would love to finish book one, part two of this, but that gets up to like page 400. And I just don't think that I'm gonna get quite that far this month. This is definitely going to be a slow going read for me, but I am just, I'm loving it. I think it's really relevant right now to read something that's like a political classic like this. I started this for nonfiction November and I'm just so grateful that that readathon gave me the boost that I needed to get started on this. I've had it for a really long time. It's about a French diplomat who is observing the politics in America and how democracy was established and how it continues and really interesting. Part one has been about centralization and impeachment and the three different branches of the government and how they work in the three levels of politics, federal, state, and local. And the last thing that I'm planning to read this month is a Christmas themed thing, and that is The Man Born to be King, a play cycle by Dorothy L. Sayers. Dorothy Sayers is my favorite author, and I've read tons of other stuff by her. She wrote the Lord Peter Whimsey Mysteries, she translated The Divine Comedy, she wrote a really fantastic book on creativity called The Mind and the Maker. 
I just love her. I think she's a really great author, and this is one of her most famous plays. And I've read a couple other plays by her that I just loved. I'm going to buddy read this with a friend from my church, and I'm just so excited about it. I can't wait to read it and talk to you guys about it. It's waiting for me at the library. I'm going tomorrow to pick it up, but I had to film this today. It kind of, I think, retells the story of Gospels. C.S. Lewis apparently read it every year during Advent, so it should be good. C.S. Lewis and Dorothy Sayers were friends. She was like an honorary member of the Inklings. It's got a ridiculously high rating on Goodreads. It's got 406 ratings, and the rating is 4.43 stars. Whoa. So I think the people who enjoy this kind of thing have all kind of clustered around it and really enjoyed it, which is why I want to read it too. And you may remember that I promised I would finish Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie this month. Unfortunately, this was going so slowly for me. I was just having such a hard time connecting to the characters. <sighs> Without that character connection, it really is easy for my mind to kind of wander. Since it's topics that I'm not really familiar with, I really needed a character to bond with, and they're just weren't any. I think I'm gonna try and listen to it on audiobook. I did order the audiobook from the library and I'm just waiting for it to come. I don't know how well that's gonna go though because honestly it's not like it's easy to follow. I just kind of gave up a couple days into the month because I was like I want to read Democracy in America and I don't want to read this anymore. I only have a short time every night when I can read whatever I want. Intellectually stimulating books and it's about 45 minutes to an hour. Any other reading that I do that night has to be really relaxing so that I can sleep. I was reading like maybe 20 pages every night in that period and this is a freaking huge book. It's like 550 pages, so it just wasn't working for me. I really need that character connection to continue. And I did tell Kate how that I would be doing her Cloak and Dagger Christmas 2019 readathon, which is where you read mysteries. Um, unfortunately, it was after that that she announced the Silas Marner read, and I just was like, that one. I choose that one. <laughs> if I have time to read a mystery, it'll probably be on audiobook. And I was thinking of reading Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which was one of the ones that she had suggested, I think, in that initial video. And I was like, I'd like to read that one. <laughs> so I put it on hold and we'll see if I get to it this month. It would be really fun to take part in it, especially since I said that I would. But we'll have to see. I just have other commitments this month. And that is all the books that I'm planning to read in December of 2019. As far as my planned reading, I always am reading books that are like a relaxation type read. But I'm planning on doing some different kinds of videos for those kinds of reads because they're just they're different kinds of books. I don't really plan those out. I just pick up whatever sounds good when I'm having trouble sleeping and I read that. Anyways, if you're making plans for what you're going to read in December, do let me know. Please drop me a comment. If you've read any of these, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. If you're doing any readathons this month, let me know. I haven't heard of too many of them going on in December, but if there are some going on, I would love to hear about them. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of them. If you'd like to get a notification on your phone or your email or whatever anytime I post a new video, you can just hit the little bell icon and that will do that for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great Christmas. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I sure did.